What to Play presents the top 15 free Android and iOS games of February arranged by play scores. But of course, if it's just not for you, there are more choices at our website whattoplay.com, link in the description box below. The play score is an average of gamer and critic ratings. If a game only receives ratings from gamers but not from critics, it receives a gamer score. Number 15. Epic Card Game White Wizard Games is dipping their toes in the collectible card game market. And I know it doesn't look like they wanted to spend too much time thinking of the name, but it does have some deep enough mechanics to back it up. At least for this month's top free ranks. As the latest venture from tabletop RPG legends, it's generated a lot of intrigue but it might not be at the same level of polish as Blizzard's and side game successful titles yet. At the moment, its AI campaign is a little unbalanced and its presentations unpolished, but there's definitely a lot of potential brewing for this game where good plays rule over all. It has a gamer score of 8.48 on the Android. 14. Daddish. If there is one thing we can assure, it's that this game's paternal root crop is more than a little rad. From indie developer Thomas Young, this game brings us into a colorful retro pixel world filled with puzzles, danger, and some rad kids too cool for their radish dad. It's all too easy to get pulled into the game's fun dialogue and engaging atmosphere of healthy food versus fast food, but it also poses some fun challenges with its many cute levels and stages. So watch out for saws and spikes and be extra careful with your precious double jumps. At the end of the day though, it's the pure simplicity that makes this game so great. So if you can sit through a few ads, then you'll love this. It has a gamer score of 8.79 on the Android and 8.78 on the iOS. 13. Draw Climber This is one of those multiplayer games that despite its bare-bones construction, still manages to enter the top ranks of our free mobile list. And Draw Climber is about as straightforward as their title suggests. In it, all you have to do is make up limbs for your square racers. And of course, with certain obstacles guaranteed to get in your way, you'll need to strategize your appendages well enough for maximum speed, reach, and grappling abilities. The matches, if they're real, are short enough and the rewards are plenty so it's pretty fun to watch for a short burst. That is, of course, if you don't mind the usual flurry of ads. It has a gamer score of 8.8. .8. 12. Dungeon Idol Who said idol games have to be boring? Because that is certainly not the case in this action-packed RPG from Linktown. Combining the strengths of role-playing, idle games, and the idle aesthetics, Dungeon Idol brings the best of those three worlds. Watch the story unfold as you play manager to a growing party of warriors bent on striking back against the demons invading their world. And as your team automatically dukes out with various monsters in their infinite dungeons, all you have to do is level up their skills, cast powerful attacks, and collect more adventurers. It's a fun game, albeit with an understandably long grind. It has a gamer score of 8.95. Number 11, Decor Dream Home Design Game and Match 3. The age of the story-based Match 3 puzzle game has just begun and By Alien Studio is rising to the occasion. Unlike Match 3 puzzle games with just grid after grid, this simulation game actually offers you something extra to reward you for your good wits. With Decor Dream, you're both puzzler and interior decorator, and with every new completed stage, you'll unlock new and better items to deck each dream house. And while it's not always yours, the satisfaction of completing each project is still the same. It receives gamer scores of 9.23 on the Android and 8.71 on the iOS. 
At number 10, Shadow 7. After a break into match 3 puzzles, we are back in the world of collectible card games. It might not be no White Wizard games, but Neptune Company can simply win you over with sheer style. For fans of the Japanese aesthetic, Shadow 7 is rich with detail, showing their flair in their character designs, environment, and overarching story of captains against Devil King. Despite a less than appealing interface, the game's combat system actually has its own charm with its unique captains and hardline focused card management and of course overall strategy. At the end of the day, it's still a gacha and the grind for those legendary items will be tough, but the journey seems enjoyable enough. It gets a gamer score of 9.38 on the iOS. Number 9, Cross Chronicle. If it's high quality games you want, then you'll definitely love this. What you need to understand about it is that it spared no expense. It came here to tell everyone a good story and it does exactly that. Not just with the usual flat style, but with straight up 3D goodness all the way. On top of the visuals, the quality is also obvious with its music and gameplay, gacha mechanics notwithstanding. But because of its visuals heavy design, it might take a toll on your phones and Wi-Fi. And as a gacha game, you should definitely be careful with spending too much on what some see as unfair rates. With some download troubles on the iPhones and iPads, it's still thriving on the Android with game scores of 6.97 and 9.39 respectively. Number 8, World War Do Real-Time PvP. The 3D goodness continues with a strategy card game from Jam City, and following their previous puzzler hits, World War Do is entirely different from their usual repertoire. As a game about a world war of clay citizens all exploding and wrestling for control, it definitely feels more grown up. Here we go. Let's get the pressure going. We might be able to just kill the guy. If he's not careful... Got him! Snipe! But seeing as they're dancing, dabbing, destroying their way to victory every time, it's not by much. The Clash Royale mechanics you love are updated into a wacky, modern Play-Doh world and it might just be what you need. World War Doh receives gamer scores of 9.39 on the iOS and 8.41 on the Android. More or all, Sherry means. Number 7, Election Year Knockout. There are no parties and running mates in this election knockout. American politics has always been a spectacle, but this game takes that to a whole new level. Presenting iconic office holders from then and now as witty characters ready to square it off in the long-running campaign. Election Knockouts is not just funny, it's also a hell lot of fun. So bring on your boxing skills up a notch as you create your own character and party to face off with the likes of Ted Brews, Ayo, Cap'n Crenshaw, and so much more. It celebrates its iOS debut with a high-flying gamer score of 9.54. 6. Heroes Bash We are really getting a taste of good strategies this month. So prepare to go on an epic adventure across the islands in another high caliber card strategy. Building up on the formula crafted by Clash of Clans and Lord Mobile, Heroes Bash tries to do it all from exciting multiplayer dungeon raids and story-driven campaigns, each with awesome characters and units to play around with. And to top it all off, they also provide you with really good content to keep you adventuring in the Bash Isles. It's far from a perfect experience, and there will be ads, sure, but for a free-to-play game, its progression seems fair enough for more than a few hours of entertainment. It gets gamer scores of 9.64 on the iOS and 9.55 on the Android. Entering our coveted top 5, Cookies Must Die. A platformer that explodes with energy, this casual indie mobile game can definitely scratch your it for cookie destruction. And we aren't talking about your run-of-the-mill oatmeal stuff, we're talking about huge, sentient foodstuffs who are out to kick your projectile flying butt. Thankfully, 
The game also gives you a whole arsenal of upgrades to destroy every living chocolate chip out there. And with challenges at every turn, the going will get tough and you might eventually need to cash in to get through. However, for the first few hours at least, you'll be treated with some sweet high quality action you've been craving for. It receives gamer scores of 9.67 on the iOS and 9.31 on the Android. Number 4, Symfo Gear XD Unlimited. Another anime has made its move towards the mobile this month, and now you can bring the adventures of State Light's awesome idols wherever you go, battling out against the vicious noise once more using the iconic Symfo Gears. Your favorite characters have all come to play in this unlimited version, shining their voices into and across the battlefield are Hibiki, Tsubasa, Chris, Maria, and so much more. While fans of the anime will enjoy all new exclusive stories and tons of new illustrations, non-fans can still get a kick out of their addictive turn-based combat system. It's not available in all countries just yet, but it gets gamer scores of 9.74 on the iOS and a 9 on the Android. Number 3, Lucid Adventure. Idle RPG fans are getting their field day this month with the arrival of this new game from Super Planet. And this isn't exactly new though. Set within the universe of the popular webtoon called Hardcore Leveling Warrior, Lucid Adventure continues on the warrior's fall from the number one rank. To get back on his feet, he needs the help of four other adventurers to find out what exactly happened to his stats and save the world of Lucid Adventure. Create the ultimate party from their various choices and level up their skills to withstand the hordes of monsters ahead. The art style may be on the cute side, but its side-scrolling gameplay does pack a lot of punch. Especially considering its many PvP modes, it will test your grid and strategies against players around the globe. The Android version might be in some trouble with a gamer score of 7.43, but it's definitely thriving on the iOS with a gamer score of 9.74. Number 2, I Love You Too. Ambition is impressive, but sometimes all it takes is the polished execution of a simple idea. And that's exactly what I Love You offers. At its core, all it wants to be is a puzzler, but ultimately, it's much more than that. As you get through harder and harder levels, you find your brains don't always see the same as your eyes, and in no time, you'll be doubting a lot of your senses too. It's never frustrating though, you'll get used to mixing of palettes and soon it becomes a relaxing adventure, not unlike figuring out the patterns of a jigsaw puzzle. For a not-so-wild ride of quiet bewilderment, this game has got you covered with gamer scores of 9.77 on the iOS and 9.52 on the Android. Time to disappear! Credit, boy. And of course, number one and our best free mobile game of February is... Shadowgun Wargames PvP FPS. I am the mighty! Again, our number one is the game with a full play score. For longtime fans of mobile first person shooters, this game will probably look familiar to you. Madfinger Games follows up their Shadowgun Legend success with its team based arena shooter. In this new title, they retain their signature stunning visuals and bring out the spunk with a roster of five characters. That might not sound like much, but the lineup covers all the basic 5v5 formula with tanks, supports, and damage dealers. Using touchstone controls for real-time first-person shooting has always been a little iffy, but war games also fall short on content and affordable microtransactions. On the other hand, with portable Overwatch still a little out of our reach, this is still our best alternative. And that is why this is our best free game this month with a play score of 8.